Hey friend, welcome. I thought it would be fun with Valentine's Day coming up to do a little pop quiz with my husband. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jen. I'm married to Alex, this guy right here. And together we have four children. They are 3, 6, 11, and 14. And I like to chat about contentment and what that means in a world that's just full of comparison. And I think oftentimes we like to compare our relationships with others and nah, you can't do that. <laughs> it's just you and your spouse and that's, I mean, that's it. You are two different people. Your relationship doesn't look like anybody else's. Our relationship is not going to look like yours. For us, it's important that we just work on our marriage. Anybody else's marriage, not our responsibility. So if our marriage looks better today than it did yesterday, we're doing good. Right? Would you agree? Yes. <laughs> you didn't say that yesterday, so we're doing better. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so I found, I don't, I just find silly quizzes on the internet. Google. So this one actually is like a bride and groom quiz. So let's just do these. What is his or her favorite color? Do you know my favorite color? Um, earth tones. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Earth tones is your favorite color. I do enjoy earth tones. Um, green. Green? No, I don't actually say green is my favorite color. It's gray. That's probably actually my favorite color. <laughs> um, I say like teal. I like teal. Like this mustard. color. And mustard yellow. Yeah. Like that color. That one right there. I like this color in your shirt. Also gray. No, it's blue. Your favorite color is blue. Yes. Okay. What is his or her favorite movie? Weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> no, it's definitely not Weekend at Bernie's. Uh, your favorite would be White Christmas. Yeah, I love White Christmas. All the time, not just at Christmas. Correct. Yours is, I have no idea what your favorite movie is, because you like movies all kinds, Yeah, most of them. We'd have to have a whole separate quiz on like genres of movies that would be my favorite. Right. I can't even tell you what your favorite genre of movie is. I like because movies. you just like movies. I do. Yeah. What's my favorite meal? Hmm. Grilled cheese and tomato oh, soup. Yeah. It really is. It doesn't go well with a paleo lifestyle so much, but <laughs> I really love it. Yours is probably like a hamburger and potatoes. Mm. Meatloaf. You like meatloaf too. I do. Some sort of meat. <laughs> And then some sort of potato. <laughs> no vegetables. I like vegetables. You do like vegetables. You like raw vegetables, whereas I prefer them grilled, cooked, roasted, grilled. Yeah, not boiled or steamed even. Ugh. What is his or her favorite animal? That's kind of a weird question. Like, very specifically. How about... What's your favorite animal for a pet? Ah, oh, I like it. That's a little more, narrows it down, not just too broad. Or what's your favorite animal at the zoo? You probably know that of mine. I don't know if I do. When we lived in Cincinnati, you knew my favorite. Remember the Cincinnati Zoo? What did I always go to watch? Uh, the capuchins? No, the bonobos. Oh, actually I was thinking of bonobos and calling them capuchins. Oh, capuchins are little. Like, little. I don't know if I've ever measured a capuchin or a bonobo to know <laughs> the different size. That's a good point. All right, well, um, what is your favorite animal? As a pet, a dog. Yep. Yeah. Like a lab. You like our boxer, though. I do. We have a boxer. Her name's Layla. She's a good boxer. I think... Uh, what's my favorite animal at the zoo? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Should I know that? Bear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Brown 
bear. It's because you are a part bear. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Do you prefer dogs or cats? Dogs. dogs. Both of us prefer dogs. I probably like cats more than he likes cats. You like kittens. Well, yeah. Any animal that is small and baby-like is adorable. Okay, what is his or her number one fear? Oh. What about like a baby salamander? I don't, yeah, I mean, that would still be cute. A baby snake? Yeah, they're cute. I like. A baby iguana? Yeah. A baby tarantula? Mm, that's not an animal. I'm just testing the anything that's a, is. That's a bug. That's a, that's a spider. You can I'm have a, a pet spider. Kid. You can have a pet spider. You can have a pet spider, but I don't want a pet spider. One of our kids is going to want a pet spider. It's going to happen. It's probably going to happen. Which brings us to, <laughs> this is our number one fear. Spiders. No. You're, <laughs> neither one of us are afraid of spiders. No. We have one daughter that's kind of don't ins say it. insanely afraid. I don't know if she's afraid of them. She just likes to yell at people when, kill the spider! <laughs> Which is funny because she's like our most... Animal friendly. But you just said spiders are not animals. I, creature friendly. She likes creatures. She likes to save them and rescue them and nurse them back to health. And but she wants all the spiders dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you know my number one fear? If you like spiders, we're glad you do. <laughs> Judging. <laughs> I'm not saying no one else can like spiders. I'm saying I'm not. We're missing the question, I think. Yes, we've gone way off topic. Okay, are we skipping our fears? What are your fears? <laughs> I, I don't know. I have one icky fear. Oh, you're, you are afraid of, you have a fear of, of drowning? Like, the reason we don't go on, like, like we've not gone on a cruise is because you don't want oh, to drown? Yeah, definitely. I don't understand. Okay, tell me how this works. Big giant hunk of steel. And let's throw it in the middle of the ocean. I know buoyancy and all that. Like, okay. But it doesn't make sense. Same with airplanes. Just, it doesn't make sense in my head. And I just don't want to be on one. Although I don't mind airplanes. I, I freak out when I'm on them. But just inside, not externally freak out. I pray really hard <laughs> on an airplane. But I don't think I could do a cruise. I mean, I told, I promised him I would for our 25th wedding anniversary. So in like five years, pray for me, please. 25. I know. You gotta get 25, to 21st. 25 days on a cruise. Not 25 days. Yeah, no. 25. 25th That's like a anniversary month. for yeah, a we're cruise not going for a month. on a cruise, a cruise for, a for a month. month. There are people who cruise no, for months. No, we are not going on a cruise for a month. Okay, what's, what's your, your what's your number one fear? I'm afraid of heights. That's really probably what I'm afraid of the most. The most like daily something that happens often. Height. I mean, I don't like climb ladders for a living or anything, but yeah, you're. I don't know what yours are. You're afraid of heights too. Tell your daughter you are. That just so she'll get over hers. <laughs> it's a parenting technique. <laughs> <laughs> We're good at that. We're good at that. No, heights are probably, yeah. Yeah, heights. Heights. Yeah, okay. We're not afraid of spiders. I think we've covered that. Unless there's spiders on the roof. <laughs> they can just stay up there. I don't need to go up and get them. All right. What is your favorite achievement? That's kind of weird. Marrying you. Oh, that was cute. Thanks. What is his or her favorite shop? Like store? I think yeah. I mean store. Like store. Mm, yours is like Lowe's. Home improvement store. Yeah. Any home improvement store. Yeah. I also love a good. I love a good diner. Oh yeah, but that's and, not a store. That's like a restaurant. But I can shop there. You can shop. <laughs> I don't think that counts. Yours would be a thrift store. Oh, yeah. Any kind. 
Mm -hmm. Yep. Like the thrift store, for sure. What is his or her favorite place in the world? You know this of me. Uh, yours would be See, like, an, like an office or like a cubicle. Like some place that kind of like has like very like enclosed space like that no has windows no windows um because absolutely That's i'm it. totally joking i know <laughs> uh your favorite space would be the outside the woods by water Preferably. you don't want to be in water you want to be by water mm -hmm. uh with trees and mountains and yeah yep it doesn't have to be mountains i mean we live in the midwest there's no mountains Oh, there's snow outside right now. There's a mountain outside. Where's your favorite place in the world? Hmm. You're supposed to guess. I would say on the water. Like in a kayak. But not anywhere in the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do like to be on the water. The I do like to be on the water. I like to be on the water. And in the water. I think I like to be in the water. That's why cruising doesn't scare me because I can be on the water. Oh. And then it could be in the water. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Oh, here. This is kind of fun. What three items would you choose to take to a desert, deserted island? Uh, hmm. What three items would you take? I would take... Hmm. You're supposed to guess mine. Oh, guessing yours. I can't guess yours, though. Okay, you would so take... Do, you, you tell what you would take, and I'll think, tell what I would take. You would take your blanket, because you would get cold. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. So you take your blanket. Yeah. Um, You would take a... You would take a, your binoculars. Oh, So you good. can look at all the eagles and the herons, mm -hmm. and um, I would hope look for a boat, because we're on a deserted <laughs> island. But yeah. But you would use your binoculars to... Look at all the animals. Mm -hmm. So your blanket, because you would get cold. Blanket, binoculars. Ooh. Do true alliteration and make the third one a B. Be amazing. So bonus points. Um. I'll double it. You bring a book, which would be your Bible. Oh. I feel like that was cheating. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you would take a toolbox because you would be prepared. <laughs> would. <laughs> and no one else you would take. Probably your phone. <laughs> <laughs> no. And book. I was going to say a book. Um, my kayak. Your kayak. Then my it wouldn't, kayak. Then it wouldn't be deserted on the island. All right. Then I could oh. paddle around the island. <laughs> All right, last one. Okay. What was the best gift he or she ever gave you? What was the best gift I ever gave you? <laughs> oh, let me think here. So you are very creative with your gifts. Like you're definitely in the creative. So. I would say it was, there was this one year you gave me uh, like a notebook mm -hmm. and some pens. Oh yeah. And a, and a pad of paper. And it was basically like, here, this is my gift to you to just write. Even though I use a computer to write, but you, but it was more of the idea right. of do some writing. Yeah. Yeah. That would probably. Oh, I forgot I did that. That was kind of early on in our marriage. We couldn't afford real gifts. <laughs> oh, best gift you ever gave me? Come on. There was one year you did like a scavenger hunt for, I think it was my birthday. Okay. Was, it, was it a birthday? Keep going. Uh, keep going. I don't know. I remember I ended up at a, massa at a massage. It was like coffee and a massage and some other things. And it was like, I just had to kind of make my way around town and you had a bunch of hints and it was fun. May have been your birthday. I think I feel like it was a birthday. We don't really do much for Valentine's Day, do we? Chocolate. <laughs> no, I mean like gift wise. Like we don't usually like we'll go out, but never on Valentine's Day. Mm -mm. And usually not the weekend around Valentine's Day because it's too busy. 
And I don't like crowds. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for doing this with me. I know it's silly. Yep. I like it though. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with us. If you liked this video, give us a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. You can check out more of my videos. I make videos on marriage, and <laughs> motherhood, and homemaking. There should be another one here, like over my face. So you can check one out there. And please remember as you are celebrating Valentine's Day that you are okay just the way you are. I'll see you soon.